Let's go to 2 Timothy 3 and 16. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So when people say to not judge, when you are telling them the word of God, you are correcting them. So it doesn't make sense when people say to not judge them when you are telling them what the Bible says. Does that make any sense? All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So the whole point and me telling you about the word of God so you can be corrected. So when they say the Bible says to not judge, that doesn't make any sense. I am supposed to correct you. So you shouldn't be so sensitive when you are being corrected by the word of God. Because by you saying not to judge, that doesn't make any sense. I can see if I was coming up to you and telling you that you are a dirty sinner, that you are not going to amount to anything, that is insulting. But if I am telling you that the word of God says to not cuss, to not steal, to not have sex before marriage, that is not judging, that is correcting. So, if anyone comes to you and say that the Bible says to not judge, show them 2 Timothy 3 and 16. So we can get that foolishness, that phrase that everyone uses, don't judge, don't judge. As you can see here, I am supposed to correct you. How are you going to change if you don't know the truth? If you only want people to tickle your ear, your ears with false information or just giving you pity parties or pats on the back and stuff like that, that rhymes. If you are only looking for that, you are not going to get far in your salvation. You are not going to elevate at all. You are going to stay as a sinner. If no one, if you are not going to accept correction, everyone needs to accept correction. Everyone, including myself. Okay, God bless.